Hey guys, I am done, 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 done with my gig bar. No more gig bar at weddings. Uh, I'm going to give you more information about that. First of all, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel, and we'll be right back. This is another, another. JPW, JPW production. So why am I no longer using my gig bar? I had a gig bar move, worked great, very compact, easy to set up, pop it up on the stand. The reason I'm no longer using it is when I started filming gig logs recently, I think I started at the beginning of March, end of February, I started going out on the dance floor and kind of looked from the guest view towards the DJ setup. And after filming and watching it on video and being out in front of my DJ setup, I mean, it's night and day between using a gig bar and wash lights. So I'm going to show you a quick video here. This is with the wash lights. Check that out. And then a gig bar, you, when you're DJing, you see the different effects moving around the room, whether it's the lasers or the moving heads or the, uh, the flower effects, but it doesn't really wash the room. And all it's doing is hitting people in the eyes, on the dance floor, people at the table. It really doesn't give a nice wash effect or a cool effect of the room once the dancing starts. So when I started walking out in front of the crowd and seeing from a guest point of view on the dance floor how much different it was if you use just two wash effects here's the two that I'm using right here yeah those two um, I think they're around 275 a piece I put them on my totems I think it looks awesome it's a clean setup but just the effect you get from the wash and the one thing I do like other than obviously the look of it for the videos and how the dance floor feels the vibe um i just like that it's not hitting people in the eyes with a direct beam or anything like that so that's kind of a big deal i've seen some other youtube blogs out there vlogs um where people saying guests are starting brides are starting requests not to have the moving heads and stuff where people are getting knocked in the eyes with a different beam of light all, all the time so that's one of the main reasons i really like using uh the wash effects um, i'll put information in the description below but again i'm done with the gig bar i mean i have moving heads um, that i control via dmx that's in my upgraded package i'll still use those for people that want like the bulls introduction with the scanning lights across the ceiling and stuff we can still do that but that's a different package for everyday weddings when they just book my regular premium package i'm going to use the wash of Effects, man. I'm telling you, in my opinion, doing this for a long time, it looks way better than having any type of gig bar or anything. And as far as setup, I don't really have to set anything up. I just have to carry those in. They're already attached to my totems. I don't take my totems down. I have the benefit. I have a van. I can just pop them in there. If you do have to break down the totems each event, maybe it will take a little longer than just popping a gig bar on a stand. But as far as the effect goes, night and day in my opinion you go out in front of your setup when you dj next time and look at a gig bar if that's what you're using or even moving heads and then do a wash effects event just try it one time and i'm telling you you won't look back i just think it looks so much better so that's my tip um hope you like it if you have any comments on that put them below but uh, again thanks for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you at the next one later